You're cycling to Gloucester? Yeah. Why? Following the, the pipe like that. I think Pipeline people. Oh. Oh. They're staying in his house. Yeah, yeah. 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 He gets 200 quid a week for. How long is it? Six months? There we are, for a while. 18 yeah. months. 18 months. So he's getting lots of money. And he is. There we are. Oh, it's a bit of benefit. I haven't, of any, I haven't heard of any benefits up till now because so it's all. Community, yeah, we'll give some benefits. Because loads of people are being brought in to do the work. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you will cycle all this stuff to Gloucester? Yeah, so far. It's all right. back. You're going to sleep in the pipe. I already have done. It's quite comfy. Oh, are you one of those hippies that sleeps in the pipe? <laughs> <laughs> like pigeonhole, cat. pigeonhole number 325. Let me out! Slash, four tests of slash. Isn't it beautiful, just me, you, and a good big hole in the floor? stuff all around it, wondering what the hell's going on. Well I woke up this morning and my topsoil was gone. I woke up this morning and there was no more frogs in my pond. Well now I can't blame Marie. You were just so fucking obscene. A strange creature sitting quietly, not talking. I finally kicked him out of the tent after he wouldn't leave me in peace to read my Italian book. It's really powerful having Ian along with me. <laughs> we make a strange pair. And he was actually saying yesterday that um, it was it was it was him sort of provoking and challenging. Um, what National Grid was saying to his neighbours, to Rachel and to Jan, um, that really got well, primarily Rachel fired up. That she, that she was like, "Oh, it's just you know, it's coming through. There's nothing we can do." Um, yeah, and it was actually actually Ian kind of going like going exactly how crazy this is and how yeah we, we can fight it. That perhaps started all of this, um, and now to have him on this trip with me is it's pretty. Fitting. We're off to the Brecon tree camp tonight, where we will sleep under trees. <laughs> no, I will shiver in the shrubbery. <laughs> Fucking useless. No, sleep I've that. told you that it's going to be blankets. It's not whinging. There we go. <laughs> Shall we say undulating at the best? Knackering at <laughs> the worst. Welcome to the beacons. Down there is the lakes of Clinavan. And uh, there's lots of little red markers. Where the route's going to go, right beside me. I might have to ask him to, uh, I might have to go our separate ways. I'm not sure I can, man, he's really lovely in some ways, but quite intense. And, uh, non-stop. They're preparing to uh, put the officers up here. Yeah, I've just been chatting with um, one of the archaeological guys. Um, he wouldn't make a statement to the camera and uh, tried to say, oh, I don't get interested in the political stuff, at which point I got very angry. And they're fascinated in uh, communities of the past and I, I wish they'd show a little bit of fascination for communities now. So just coming down off the, uh, off the top, down a nice smooth slope. And just to my right there's some big cranes, so I assume that they're actually laying some pipes in place if the cranes are there. I have no real problem with them putting it in, um, but they should invest a lot more in energy and money into uh, renewables. Uh, you know, I mean, 
the lines of many years spending on this are ridiculous. Mm. The only problem they're having is um, traffic disturbance. Mm-hmm. And uh, you've probably noticed our bank has been damaged. Oh, yeah, it's um, came in quite a, quite a lot. Yes. Uh, the only other problem as well is the speeding through the village mm-hmm. because they do tend to go through quite speed. Really fast. Um, so that'll be. Is that a, such a lorry? Or is yes. that yes, carrying the rubble up? It's a pipe lorry. <laughs> in the morning when they think nobody's around and yeah. they're going up to work and they do zoom up and down, it's like a racetrack. And you're trying to come out your drive. Mm. And uh, I, I threatened to come out with a video camera <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> we shouldn't have to police it. No. The residents shouldn't have to yeah. police it really. 